On this episode of Run, Lift, Push, filtering mental sludge. So for me, as a dad of two and a husband trying to get myself in shape enough to try out for the US bobsled team at one of their upcoming combines, uh, speed is key. Middle of this week, I just got hit hard with what I'm gonna call mental sludge. So first part of the week went really well. This was 15 meter repeats after doing four 60 meters. Overall, things were moving well. This was squats, uh, this is just 225. Just trying to keep things moving. Uh, after doing a sprint workout on Sunday, legs are kind of tired. Then here is a dumbbell bench press and I do tweak my shoulder somewhere in here. Tuesday's workout, wrapping the wrists up tight. I just got these new powerlifting wrist wraps. They seem to be working really well, especially in the close grip bench. Then there's also some curl work, some auxiliary work. So this was Tuesday morning. So then Tuesday evening, grab the family. Hello everybody. We are gonna do a video with my dad and he's about to run. So get ready for the big time. Dad, he's warming up, he's warming up. Now he's gonna run. So if that didn't get you psyched up to watch me sprint, here's my other kid. Hello camera, remember, follow the blue t-shirt. And I'm moving. Doesn't look like it's very fast, cause it's not. 4.8 seconds and a 30 meter. Now here's why that's kind of depressing. This is the breakdown for the US bobsled team tryout. There is the 30 meters, and here is where I fall on the chart. It is absolutely nowhere. But that's a cute video of my kids, so that you don't get depressed as I was. I felt like I should be performing at a higher level, that I should be going faster, that I should be at least making the chart for the bobsled team. And I had to evaluate couple of things and develop some strategies. So I'm looking at four things that I'm going to do going forward to help combat that and cut it off before it happens. So here are my four strategies for filtering mental sludge. First, set realistic goals. I had set absolutely no goals for how I would perform or where I wanted to be at this point, so that was a mistake. Set a realistic timeline. I just got cleared from physical therapy for a tweaked calf in the middle of January. So the fact that I'm back to where I was in July before all of these injuries is actually a good sign. And to be honest, I've got 22 weeks till the combine. So that means I've got quite a bit of time to get some incremental improvements going. Number three, focused energy. You can't improve in all aspects all the time. So I needed to drill down what it is I'm working on, which right now is speed. Number four, make a plan. If you don't know what your plan is, you don't know what success looks like. So every time going to the gym and every time going to the track before I leave, I'm setting out what my workout is so that I know what it means to be successful that day. So those are my four strategies going forward, not only for improvement, for creating benchmarks, but also to combat mental sludge for feeling like I'm underperforming, like I haven't gotten all the way there before I really need to be all the way there. And I guess if all of that doesn't work out, filming yourself in super slow-mo is pretty darn epic. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and stay epic my friends.